You want to bomb back? You want to chill with the big girls? Now you did cry, kitty kitty, you did cry because I can tell your eyes are red. Let me show you how the thing goes. <laughs> guys, welcome to my channel. Um, it's me, Abnali Jen. I'm your beautician and not a magician. So um, today we're going to talk about lashes. <laughs> we're going to talk about eyelashes and um artificial lashes lash extensions lash adhesive anything about lash that's what we're going to talk about today so if you have not subscribed to my channel if you are new um please do also subscribe to the channel let's grow this channel together don't forget to like don't forget to share and most importantly don't forget to drop your comments or questions in the comment section down below and i will have you sorted out have you ever worn a lash extension that gave you um so i saw before or have you ever experienced a discomfort when wearing eyelashes like um itchiness redness of the eye swollen eyes or yes worst case scenarios swollen eyes that that last for days then you are just like me you you are allergic to eyelashes so today we're going to talk about um, the causes of those swollen eyes, the redness of the eye, and preventive measures and if possible treatment to these swollen eyes and why your eyes get red and what causes that and what you can do to prevent that. On the side of the client or yes, the client and on the part of the beautician, what both of you are supposed to do to prevent these situations from happening. So yeah, like I said, don't forget to subscribe down below. It's right there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's keep the channel growing. Have you heard of cyanoacrylate? And what do you know about it? Well, cyanoacrylates are um, active ingredients in the formulation of eyelash adhesives. So it's unfortunate, but if you are addicted, I uh, said addicted, allergic to cyanoacrylates, you just are. There's nothing you can do about it. So it is the cyanoacrylate that is found in most of the lash adhesives that sort of makes the eye itchy, watery, causes it to become red and all that stuff. So it is the active ingredient called the cyanoacrylate. And this is so active that it has a short lifespan of about 30 days. So sometimes when you open the product, the lash glue, after 30 days, it expires. So if you keep using it afterwards, it will still give you these active um, reactions. So if a client complains of runny, um, yeah, watery eyes, um, redness, eye redness, swollen eyes, do not try to change the lash adhesive or anything because if you do it's going to be like um somebody reacting to peanut butter maybe the person is allergic to peanut butter and then after eating peanut butter the person is having an allergic reaction and the person comes to you for aid then you tell the person to go for um an ice cream made with peanut butter it doesn't solve the situation it's still it's still going to get worse so trying to change maybe a brand a type of lash adhesive because you feel perhaps that brand didn't work and so you want to change it to something else is the same thing it's still not going to work so if you are allergic to it you are allergic to it there's nothing you can do about it you either keep quiet and endure or you just stop wearing lashes altogether because it is an active ingredient found in almost all the lash adhesives we have so it's about time lash techs understand that allergen is allergen there is nothing you can do about it because the more exposure to the lash glue the worse the allergy will become and so if a person is allergic to um the glue or um fixing of lash extensions caused an allergic reaction on the client you should know that the, the client is allergic to it and so it is not advisable to continue doing the lashes for the person because it might it might get worse okay but is it really the cyanoacrylate that's causing the reaction most likely it is the cyanoacrylate but in other cases it might be um other additives in the lash adhesive that you're using that might be causing 
that discomfort so what you can do is you can try on a different brand and that is why sometimes you try a particular glue and your eyes get swollen but the moment you switch to a different one it stops so if you switch to a different one it might probably be that it does not contain the additives that it was found in the first one that made your eyes swell so it relieves you of that um that's eye swell and eye redness so if you notice that you are comfortable with the other brand then you stick to that but other than that it's but if it continues like if it is consistent that it might be that is the cyanoacrylate in the in the lash adhesive that you use that is causing that discomfort and so you can stop using it so some of the additives are black pigments and other stabilizers and all these things go a long way to help with the span of the of the lash adhesive and so the only way you can figure out what is actually causing the redness or the swollen eye is a lengthy and sometimes painful experiences but is it really worth it do you always have to go through all these before you can find which lash adhesive works perfectly for you what if you never find well i'm not trying to discourage anybody from wearing lashes or lash extensions but if you want to do it you need to know the pros and cons so that you know you are safe and it's the same with um the lash techs you also need to know the pros and cons so that you can you can know how to go about it when you face situations like these and so yeah it's hand in hand the client needs to know and the professional also needs to know to be safe and to make the environment safe for everybody so let's get on with the treatment with treatments it varies from client to client sometimes the treatment might be mild it might be medium or severe when it's mild a lash tech or a beautician or whoever faced your lash may be able to correct it if it is medium you might or may not but if it is severe you need to see um a doctor if it is mild to medium then you can use um a cold compress eye drops or any hydrocortisone cream to to um, reduce or to relieve the pain that you are you are feeling but if it is severe then you have to see a medical practitioner but in severe cases please do well to consult a medical practitioner because these people are highly trained to give you the best and medical advice to help with the discomfort, irritation, the redness, and the swelling. And if it persists for more than 48 hours, it's very important to, to see a medical practitioner. And I would also like to advise clients that when you go to the salon to, to, to get your eyelashes done, ask questions feel free to ask your cosmetologist or lash tech questions you can even ask them what ingredients are in the product that they are using or the glue they are using you can even read it yourself to know what is inside whether it's good for you or not and also avoid washing your face for a few hours after the application of your eyelash extensions this is very important and will help you save you from swollen eyes and um, eye redness and um, itchy eyes and you can bamba with your girls and these are a few tips to help you stay safe out there and to prevent watery eyes, itchiness, swollen eyes and make sure you are going to a licensed cosmetologist or a licensed lash tech for your, your procedure. And when you enter the salon, look out for general hygiene or general cleanliness. If you notice that things are haphazard, I mean, things are just everywhere like that, it should tell you what you are getting yourself into and what you are getting. That should that should tell you if you notice that the area is unclean and unsafe or the lash tech is using unsanitary equipment to do um this procedure for you then it means you are going to have a reaction or an infection after after everything is done and the same goes for you the clients it's always um advisable to close your eyes during these procedures those of you who always want to open your eyes to see whatever is going on that is how glue and other impurities get into your eye so it's always advisable to close your eyes while your lash tech is fix fixing your lashes for you to avoid um redness of the eye sore eyes swelling eye itchy eyes 
to avoid all these things it's always important to close your eyes during the process also there are certain people with different health conditions that i may not or i will not recommend um lash extensions to first of all people suffering from alopecia people suffering from trichotillomania this is a condition where um they always pull their lashes like you know they keep pulling their eyelashes people undergoing radiation or chemotherapy treatments and somebody who's already experiencing inflammation or irritation in the eyes so it's always important that as a lash tech a beautician or a cosmetologist when somebody enters your salon you make sure you take the contraindications and the contra actions so that you will be able to have um a successful job done and the client will go happy and you the 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 lash tech or the beautician will also be satisfied with your job so i hope you've learned something from today's um talk or is it is it a tutorial or you can call it either ways so this brings us to the end of um the day's talk and i'm sure you've learned something from it if you did don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up and if you didn't don't forget to me, give me this and if you found it more informative you can share with your friends and everybody until we meet again it's bye-bye i love you